How are we doing, ladies? You're okay? Awesome. Um, let's get started. Do our 30 minutes. Total body okay? All right. So, you're going to see me do like the squat squat. I want you guys to see how low I go. Also, um, remember, <clears throat> remember this. You don't have to go as low as I do if it doesn't feel right. Every one of these movements are low impact, which is what I love about strain training is naturally when we're just strain training, no impact, but you have to make sure your form is spot on. That's what the ab squat does is help us with our form, but you go where you feel like it feels great. Not okay, I want it to feel great. All right guys, so my name's Carrie. If you're just joining, you've never met me before. I am ab squats trainer for ab squat and also Cormax Pro. Both days are at 4 p.m. Today's Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday. My daughter Paige, she's here with us and I love when she works out with us. She gets her workout in, she just finished up school. So let's start off with the lower body. Then we'll work to the upper body and here we go guys. Let's make, I just hit the timer. Awesome. So everybody, your height, okay, make sure your seat is up high enough as well. I have um, my seat up a little bit higher than Paige's and then I bring my feet about shoulder width and then I place the top of the seat in the, my, my caboose. Hands are on the bar. And then we take that seat and hang out here for a second. That's where I want you to actually see that you're okay being right here. Now you're gonna come up and squeeze and then come back down. See how it comes down? And I actually wanna go side profile, guys. Page keeps moving. But I want you guys to see this. I come all the way down. I go all the way down. So I've got that where my knees aren't even close to my feet. They're over my ankles. And you're going down and you're holding onto your bars. Okay, you've got a little bit of tension in your arms. Inhale, exhale, four more seconds, three more seconds, two everybody, and one. All right, so take 15 seconds here. I'm now gonna face you guys so you can see how wide my feet are. Okay, so now, We've got five seconds where I'm gonna ask you to go and pulse for 45 seconds. So we're gonna go down into that squat and we're gonna pulse. We're gonna let the spring work with us for 45 seconds, warming up our glutes, warming up our buns, however you wanna call it, and also holding on to the bars. So your heart rate's gonna go up because your hands are above your, your hands are above your heart. But you also want this for security. You wanna make sure you have something to hold on to. A lot of folks, including myself, at different times of the day, I lose balance. So it's a great way for us to hold on to our balance in four, in three. Guys, keep going. I don't know what I'm talking about. You've got 10 more seconds. <laughs> 10 more seconds. So five and four, three, two, and one. Great job. Now, guys, I want you to know something. Great job showing up, but this is a great time as well. East Coast, four o'clock, West Coast, one o'clock. We reset our bodies for the afternoon and into the early evening, but we do it in a way that's really healthy by getting the energy up through exercise. Full movements again, let's go. 45 seconds, down and up. Second round, Marcy and Susan, second round. So when you come up, I don't want you coming up all the way. I still want you to hold, feel the chair in your buns. So you're feeling the contraction in your thighs and also in the back. So the front of the thighs are called the quads, your steps and the back of the thighs are called your hamstrings. Basic, you may already know this, I just wanna make sure they understand that we've got the big guys, the big guns, the quads that get a ton of activity just from us actually walking, moving forward all day. The guys in the back get the least amount of activity because of sitting or even laying down. So it's really important to balance it out and this is what the ab squat's doing and come on up. So guys, shake it just side to side. The ab squat's doing exactly that. It's waking up the back of the thighs. Okay, so you've got five seconds and then we're pulsing. So we're going to lower body first. Inhale, exhale, three, two, one. Bring it down, Marcy and Susan, and pulse. Now guys, your heels are in, toes are out slightly. Chest is lifted. See how Paige is lower than me? Because guess what? She's shorter and her seat is lower than mine. But her chest is still up, her hands are on the bar. She's got a slight bend in the elbows. And you can feel your breath increasing. That's why we've got one more round. It's more or less like our warm up. Although, for many people, I would say if they have not worked out ever, I'd say this is a great way for them to start. Just going with five minutes and letting it grow for 10 minutes, 
15, and then before you know it, you're with us for 30 minutes. Everybody, five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it on up, hips high, side to side, hips side to side, hips side to side. So now we've got one more round. We're gonna do the big movements. So we get the compound movements up and down, really penetrate the big muscles. Then we'll pulse. Get ready and let's do it. So all the way down and up. So today here in Pennsylvania, it's close to 50 degrees. And um, I have not been out yet, Marcy. So my day started very early. I trained a corporate company, their executive board at 7.30 for 45 minutes. Then I train two ladies, 8.30 to 9.30. Then I have a class from 10 to 10.40. Then I train two more ladies from 11 to 12. Then from 12 to one, I had calls I had to catch up on and emails, guys. I'm talking to you because this is what we get to do. We get to actually have a conversation while we're working out, which is part of what makes it easier, by the way. Three, two, one, and back up. So side to side. And my goal was to get out by 1 p.m. Didn't happen. My day's not over. I just said to Paige after this class, guess what we're gonna do, Paige? We're taking our dog, Sunny, for a walk, and then I'm going for my run. Ready, guys, let's go. Bring it down and pulse. Chest is lifted, chest is lifted. When that weather is above 40 degrees, Susan, and the weather is above 40 degrees on the East Coast, you get outside. All right, you gotta get the outside. Now I went outside for a second, and I'll share with you guys, we have a neighbor who's right over here, an older lady, she's in her late 70s. Her name is Blair. And Paige had made these wonderful cupcakes for Valentine's Day. They were, I mean, they were so delicious. I can't even tell you guys, I'll be working it off all week. I, I mean, I, I had three and they were just so good, so good. Uh, three or four, maybe I had four guys, who knows. Three, two, and one, all right, so that was it. So now we're gonna go into the plie. I'm gonna come closer to you guys. So I guess I had four in two days. Nonetheless, it's winter time and this is what we have to do. We, we hibernate a little bit, but we always, we're always exercising. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So now you've got your plie squat. And I love the hearts and the thumbs up because that's real, right? We are in a little bit of hibernation mode. And, like we could post and, the recipes and by the way, we'll post the recipe um, on Carrie Community and we'll tag ab squat um, because they're only 280 calories. And um, when I say that, it's hard to believe because believe me, they're full, they, they have sugar on it with the icing. My daughter made the cupcakes from scratch. So we did look at the cupcakes in terms of calories though. Uh, you know, it, it was a sweet weekend. Everybody's having a nice time with their family and their friends for Valentine's Day. Or maybe just for yourself, you did something sweet. But that's what happens in the winter time. We have all these wonderful, really cozy holidays. Come on up and stand with me guys, side to side. Now we're gonna pull. So what we're doing now is a wider stance, toes are out, hit penetrating the inner thighs to get into the muffin top. Ready, so now we're gonna go down, nice and low and pulse. First part of the workout's lower body. Inhale, exhale, everybody. So here it's excellent exercise to really stimulate small muscles in the inner thighs that connect to your lower stomach and your pelvic floor. Guys and girls, it doesn't matter. This is an area that's very weak because it's hard to make that um, exercise really work for this small little area. So we are working it safely and being able to actually sit into it, having the resistance work with us, and we're just building strength. Lean muscle, lean muscle, which we love. Lean muscle, guys. So I'll tell you the story, I'll finish the story. So then after I had my calls and my emails today, bring it all the way up, everybody. Now side to side, we have two more rounds. So I'm starting to sweat. And that's just what happens when I'm working my bigger muscles, is you get really warmed up quickly, although we're not jumping, and we're not doing any type of cardio. We're just working the biggest muscles which make that metabolism go up. Ready, let's bring it down, let's go, Paige. Single it out, my daughter, my beautiful daughter. All right, so Marcy, at about one o'clock, I walked over to my neighbor who's in her later 70s, and I said, would you like a cupcake? And she's by herself. And uh, oh my gosh, she was so happy, by the way, and so happy to have a visitor. Uh, she's such a wonderful lady. She was a dean of one of the private schools here called Baldwin. And she, her name's Blair. She's such a lovely lady. And you know what happens? 
is when I see that somebody needs to have just a little bit of company. They need to have a conversation. You can see that she was just by herself. I, you know what? I'm gonna say, okay, if I don't get that run in, I, who cares? I mean, this is human. We need to spend time with people. Right now we're spending time with each other. Great job, bring it up. Now we're gonna go side to side. This is a great way for you to actually feel like you're part of something. Bring it down, let's pulse. This is number two round for our plie squats. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, you guys. So more than just exercise, being part of this Facebook group with your product, the App Squat, working into your large and your smaller sensitive areas that complement your big muscles, you're gonna feel stronger. You're also gonna feel like you're part of something, which is all what we're trying to build here. So guys, you have 15 more seconds, 15 more seconds. So I did not go for that run. After I came back, I had to get on a teleconference and then we have this class today. So after class, we will take our dog for a walk, which she needs to get out because she's in hibernation mode more than we are. I think she's put on 10 pounds. Bring it up. We have one more round, guys. One more round. <laughs> That's the machine I got. Oh, great, Rosemary. Oh, guys, Marley, this is very impressive. It's very supportive as well. And we do these classes, 30 minutes. Now we've got another round for our plie squat, but our hands are on the bar. And by the way, um, Rosemary and Marley, my daughter Paige put it together. So just so you know, she's 14 years old. And Paige is... I will say she's good at putting things together, okay? I'm not gonna overlook that, she's good at it. She loved Legos back in the day. She put together the Walt Disney Castle, and I will tell you it was like Rain Man. In three days, she put together the castle. That was like 14,000 pieces. So guys, I wanna tell you, it was actually probably more than that, about 18,000 pieces. Well, no, 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 it's, 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 that's a lot of pieces, Paige. So she's good at this, but it takes her like 20 minutes. This is when mom's trying to work and I'm like, put together the ab squat. Ready guys, and now pulse. So my 14 year old is part of my business. I mean, of course, doing the classes. I love it, everybody. But also she's transformed this whole year into a more fit teenager that really enjoys feeling stronger. Right, Paige? Yes. I mean, are you saying yes or do you actually believe? I'm like, hibernation, I lost two pounds. <laughs> So she just got weighed today at school. I guess school was doing that um, check-in. I guess you got a physical. Yeah. So she had a physical at school. She lost two pounds. And I think she grew too, everybody. So it's kind of funny. Normally you grow, you put on a little weight. Um, but so she's really enjoying the fact that she's seeing herself grow with these 30-minute classes. Paige enjoys the Cormax Pro as well. But it starts now. When you're 14 or 15 or 16 or 17 or 18, you form those habits. Great job, everybody. Now we've got our one foot up, one foot back. So you're gonna place the right foot up and Marcy and Susan go wider. Now the left foot goes out wider. Now this is called a split squat. What I love about this is, this is a great way to feel on the back leg, a little bit on the outside. Now if you have any knee issues, what I want you to do is take the foot out wider wider okay just wider so yes I know isn't it so Rosemary it's been a lot of fun because you're and even if you do, didn't start your habits when you were in your teenage years here's the thing it's never too late I've explained to my daughter you have 15 more seconds everybody muscle knows no no age zero I could be 85 years old my muscles don't know if they could think I'm 14 they have no idea that's a fact and I like to explain that most of my classes because it gets you out of your own head. Now we're gonna switch everybody. Other foot up, other foot back. Place your legs wider, okay? Just kind of staggered stance, hands on the bars. And, but the one thing our bodies do know, and that's a fact, is the recovery. So today, after I taught those classes, um, I had about four or five hours of physical fitness. Um, I sat down. I kicked my legs up and then I sent my emails for the hour. I elevate my legs. Why do I elevate my legs? So I can take inflammation down. I believe in recovery happens in an hour. My belief. Now I can back it up with many different articles and a lot of science with that belief. 
Some days everybody can do two hours, but it's not supposed to be consecutive. We are not supposed to sit for hours and hours and hours. We're supposed to be maybe an hour, and you probably should get up within that hour, but the recovery of my legs, three, two, one, and up. Now everybody, we're gonna pull. So you're gonna bring that other leg up and the other leg back. Wide, okay, wider with the legs, staggered stance. Belly's in, chest high, leg grip on your bar. Long neck, you ready? And bring it down. So the recovery, and you don't have to go as low, you can just pulse. Remember, this is where we get the support from the ab squat. You get the support, and Rosemary, take it right out of that box and join the classes. Let's go, everybody. So just pulse easy, nice and easy, everybody. Working out doesn't have to mean jarring the joints. Doesn't mean you have to, you know, say, oh, dread your workout. We enjoy this very much. You can go on my Instagram and see that we do these little videos after the class. I like doing the workout part. Paige likes doing like the TikTok part. Well, I try to teach you, but then you get mad at me when I try to well, teach you because I'm too slow. My daughter will try to teach me the TikTok moves. Everybody back up, we're gonna switch legs. She'll try to teach me the TikTok moves and then it just is like, Paige, I'm not that good at this. She's great. She's great at it. I'm like, just let's let's chop, chop and get the workout. And, she, and she's like, we've got to do it right, which that's what I always say. If you're going to do something, everybody, you've got to do it right. So here I'm going to come back to the ab squat. I want you guys to understand, right now you've got me as your trainer. I'm giving you the tips to do this right. You've got a wide stance. You've got one leg slightly back, one leg up. You've got your upper body upright, chest is high, leg grips. Are you supposed you, to be pulsing? You're pulsing, yes, I'm sorry. You're pulsing, 20 more seconds. And you're breathing. I cue breathing all the time because if you don't breathe, the oxygen is not going to your muscles. You need that nice flow of oxygen getting to your muscles so your muscles can actually perform. Another thing I need to always, always say is form is everything because that will keep us safe. Three, two, one, and back up everybody. Great job. So we're gonna continue on the lower body with the ankle strap. So place the ankle strap on whatever foot you want. I'm gonna go with my right foot, Paige. Paige likes to know what foot I'm going on. All right, so we place our ankle strap on. Okay. And very easy. And we're gonna go to outer thighs, okay? Outer thighs. So it's on, right? Okay, you can just move your ab squat. So it's light, but it's durable. Okay, so stand tall, everybody. Stand tall, hold on to the bar. Hand on the hip or hand out to the side or up, however you want. Now, ooh, I said outer thigh. <laughs> I said outer thigh. Paige, you gotta turn it this way, everybody. <laughs> so, and I'll do it, and I'll do it actually on this angle. Okay, you ready, everybody? So let's go out, one. So press it out, and two. So we're gonna do 45 seconds. And right off, so I'm happy I'm doing it right on this angle because you can see my thigh is not in front of me, my thigh is not behind me. I want you going directly off the side of your body, directly off the side, and that way you can really work in to that nice curvature. This is an area that can change like that. Believe me when I tell you this, you've got to work at it with the ab squat. This is a great way to really get that beautiful definition of running up the side of your thigh also, when I say the side of your thigh, that also means the side glute. You can get that nice lift in your rear. You have 10 more seconds just by lifting, using the resistance. You're standing up nice and tall. Everybody, yep, you've got this. Three, two, one, and stand here, okay? So you're gonna pulse this now, okay? You're gonna pulse this. Get ready, Paige. Now, when you pulse it, the other leg's gonna feel this because you're stabilizing it. Now I'll show you guys this way. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Let's do it. Pulse. One, two, three. Stand tall, shoulders down from your earlobes. Hold on to the bar. This arm can be right out, and it'll keep that heart rate up even more. Now see my stabilizer leg? I have a slight bend in that knee. Belly's pulled in. You have 30 more seconds just to give me those small breaths. Feel those breaths. Exhaling, exhaling. Everybody, this is where you're going to start feeling at this very moment. You have about 20 more seconds. You've got it, though. You've got it. And guess what we're doing today? We are not gonna stop at one round. You're gonna give me another round. Ooh, come on, come on, yes. So we can do upper body workouts just with the ab squat. We can do just lower body workouts just with the ab squat. 
but today we will go into that upper body, just not 50-50. Time, 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 time. Well done. Okay, absolutely, Rosemary, great. How high should the seat be? Well, I'll show you right at the end of the class where I am, and I'm 5'7", and where Paige's is, and she's 5'5". Five five. Ready, everybody? Six. Let's bring it up. So, wink, wink, she's 5'6". I think my daughter's now 5'5 five, five, five and a half. 5'5 five, five and a half. Um, I don't know, Rosemary, and Marcy and Susan, full, full extension of the leg. She's getting close to me, though. That's all I know. And I think there is a chance she may be the same height as me um, or a tad bit taller. She's in eighth grade, and I think she's got this summer left to grow. So she has some time to outdo me, and that will be a sad day for me, <laughs> smiling and laughing with you guys. It's just so funny because now I feel like my mom. I feel like my mom. I'll tell you guys this story. And time, time. Just take about 15 seconds. Take the other leg off the ground because that's where you're feeling the stabilizers. My mother's 5'3". And my mom would always say, I am 5'3". Great, Rosemary, I'll show you. My mom is 5'3", so I'll show you how she would have it. So my mom, uh, pulsing everybody, pulse, arm is out. So my mother, who I'm one of seven, just so you guys know, um, when I would stand around her, when I would say eighth grade, ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th grade, my mother would always start doing this. I'll show you in about 30, no, in about 25 seconds. I'll show you just pulse. Everybody pulse. You can even put the arm like this and pulse, whatever. If the arm is above the heart, Rosemary and Marley and Marcy and Susan, you're keeping that heart rate up without having to do jumping jacks, jog, jump rope, nothing. It, it starts to bring that heart rate up just because you have a limb above the heart. And that's called conditioning your body. You're conditioning your body to feel the difference in your heart rate at a higher level, but not that high, but in a great level. Okay, so my mom would always do this, stand tall. When she was around me and I used to be like, why do you do that? Because she fell short. All right, guys, we're gonna go right into, now we have to go into the backside. So you're gonna push it back. All right, so you're gonna push this back. I'm gonna push my ab squat. Hands are both on, and now we're gonna push this back and then come back to your foot, okay? So ready, everybody? Stomach's in, slight bend. My upper body is bent over slightly, and we're gonna push it back. 45 seconds, Susan. 45 seconds, Marcy. So my mom would stand up really tall, and I'd always say, why are you doing that? Never really got it. But now I'll be a mom to this one, and she's catching me, I find myself standing up super tall because I'm like, I don't want her being taller than me. And when I slump over, when I round my back and I kind of don't have the best posture, she's taller than me. <laughs> so I'm like, oh no. So it's uh, forcing me to have better posture, Marcy. It's forcing me. Five seconds, gang. Five, four, three, two, and time. Now we're going to pulse it. So remember, what we're doing here is getting into the hamstring, the back of the thigh, into your glute muscle. Your gluteus has three muscles, lower, mi uh, middle, and the upper. So we're hitting all three. Ready, let's bring it back and pulse. One, two, pulse page. Hands are on the bar, great positioning. The other leg's gonna feel it. <sighs> Ooh, it's gonna feel it, it's gonna feel it. Great job, just pulse. You have a small bend in this leg as well, okay? So your seat, Rosemary, can actually answer your question while we're doing this, is at the very, at the lowest. At 5'3", it's at the lowest. Um, I'm looking at pages, and she even has it at the lowest as well, and I think that's a perfect height for you. Yep. So I will show you what I mean by the lowest, but it, it basically you don't see any of the holes, and I think that's a perfect place for you. Four, three, two, and one, great job. All right, guys, you're gonna take that off. We're only doing one round there. The class, again, goes by very quickly. So we're gonna use this arm, I mean, use this side. Just stay with this side, okay? And we're gonna use the band. So we're gonna go right into the bat wings. Many times, I will work my lower body, just my lower body, but I'll always add in something for the rear delt and the back of my arms to get rid of this stuff. Yuck, 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 okay? And obviously, it looks worse without a tan. No tan on this girl is not good. But we're shaping it up, guys. You ready? Lean over, bend your knees, and push it back. One and two. Head is down a little bit. Drop your chest. Three. 
Drop your chest a little bit more if you can and bend your knees. Inhale, exhale, everybody. Inhale, exhale. Now you're gonna give me 10 more seconds and then we're gonna pulse. And pulse, Paige. Nice job, Paige, nice job. All right, keep going. And keep going, everybody. Three, two, one. And now we're gonna pulse, you ready? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Guys, you have five seconds, Susan, five seconds. Five, Susan, four, Marcy, three, two, and one. Great job. Now turn to me. Keep that hand there, legs wide. Now you're gonna give me a bright row with one arm coming from this hip up to the body, leading with the elbow. Hold on to the bar, three, two, one, chest high. Let's go, pull, one, and two. 30 seconds, that's it, 30 seconds. Excellent, excellent, love it. Nice and high with your chest. I'm trying to make sure we don't drop our chin and your chin is back, so you actually have alignment with your spine. All right, shoulders are down. Even though you're pulling out with your elbow, you can keep your shoulders down. Now you've got five seconds, five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, and one. Well done. All right, so now everybody, you're gonna go right into the other leg. So bring your ab squat while well, I'll move mine, so you guys can see me, okay? And then we'll put your ankle um, strap right on. So I've got my ab squat right on here. My ab squat, my ankle strap. <laughs> That's why I love her. All right. Excellent job. Okay. So now we're going to go for outer thigh. See my stabilizer leg. I've got it down, heel down, slight bend that leg. Hand on the bar. Now everybody, really roll your shoulders back down. Bring your chest up, lead with your heart muscle. And now we're gonna go outer thigh here, ready? Let's lift for 45 seconds, lift page. And straight off the side of your body. It's not going in front because then you're gonna hit that hip flexor. I don't want you frying your hip flexor. I don't want you to bring it behind you either. I want you to make sure this machine is amazing. Oh, Rosemary, thank you, five feet one inch. Marcy, really? I always thought you were taller. Because we have some PA girls here, guys. We're Pennsylvania girls. Marcy, myself, and Paige. Keep going. You have 15 seconds. You know why it's amazing? And we got to spread the word, everybody. Um, it works with the muscles that we functionally have to use so often. But we're not going to walk away from this um, feeling really sore and time, although many times people can when they're working the big muscles. So we actually can go into another workout even later tonight or tomorrow and feel great. Now ready to pulse? Three, two, one, and let's do it everybody. Pulse, one, two, one, and two. So today I've posted a few um, articles on posture, uh, Marcy. I did it last night and today. Um, some posture exercises. Um, I also posted a little bit about alcohol because as we go into the next two weeks and we finish up February, I want you guys to go into February, the next two weeks, okay? We're less than two weeks, we're 12 days away. I want you to go into this feeling really, really good. Just trying to make a little bit better decisions in what we're consuming. You have five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, you guys, excellent job. I was born in Queens. Oh really, Gloria, how can I get this machine? Well, Gloria, you can go to absquat.com, all right? Absolutely, um, and it's on there. So I can also, we can send you a message right after this class and get you the information. Okay, Gloria, so you're born in Queens, Susan. So you are an East Coaster. Um, my dad was born in the Bronx. And uh, he is a New Yorker, all right. My dad is. Now his accent is not New York because his father was an Englishman and his mother was, a, was from Germany. She came over during the war. And my grandfather was already out of England as a young boy and he was in Jamaica. 
because they had a banana plantation. Guys, we're doing full range and great job. And that's where they stayed while the war, war was going on. My dad is um, gonna be 87 in March. So my grandparents are a lot older. So my dad's first generation in this country. Inhale, exhale, everybody. Three, two, one, and let's do it. And he came from nothing, my father. Came from nothing. And he got a job when he was, well, he worked when he was 13 up. But he went into the army to make extra money for his parents. And from that time on, he raised, he um, supported his parents. From that time on, and then my father was committed to having a lot of children because he was the only child, 20 more, everybody. So that's why I'm one of seven. Well, he went into the army so he could pay for college. Well, he did, but also he had debt coming out because he was help sending checks to his parents uh -huh. and helping his parents out. So five, everybody, four, three, two, and one. Great job. All right, so now we're gonna go to the back. Of course, I was going for college, yes. Um, here we go, guys. So it's a fascinating world. I was just eating this Sunday for, for uh, Valentine's Day. You're gonna go that big step back, slight bend the knee, slight bend the knee, ready? And push it back. And push it back, you got it. Push it back. So for Valentine's Day, we celebrated by having my Grammy from Germany's Goulash and Spetzla, something I haven't had in a few years. And that's where I'll always say the holidays are a time where you should enjoy traditions, enjoy life, but then you get back on the wagon on Monday, which we did, both of us, we both did. So, but it's important to celebrate and have time and memories with your family. Don't ever forget that, three, two, one, and great job. And I don't ever say that as in like, I'm telling you what to do. I'm saying it as in, we only have one life. You know, there's 365 days out of the year. Almost all of those days, I'm trying my best to stay on track. And then there's a few holidays that I'm gonna enjoy. Right, everybody, let's do it. So push that back, push it back. And I will tell you, Cormax Pro has fantastic recipes. Fantastic recipes. Now we're at 31 minutes. We're gonna have about one more minute left and then you guys, two more minutes, and then I'll let you go, okay? How does that sound? I'm like that teacher that keeps you, keeps you late and you want so badly to leave the class and the teacher's like, no, 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 you have to stay. I'm not done telling you about your assignment. That's me today, everybody, I apologize. I've been chatty catty today. Keep breathing, I really have been. Whew. All right, keep going, five more seconds, five, four, three, two and one. Now you're gonna take it off and here we go. Let's go right into our upper body and I want you to get your bat wings. You can't leave this class without getting the back of our arms. The bat wings guys, okay? Now if I squeeze it, it tightens up, but now press it back with me. So press it back. So you can have one leg forward, one leg back if you ever have back pain. It's a great way for me to just share with you that helps the lower back. And if you don't, both feet together, Lean over with me, okay? And then press it back, press it back. Press it back, yep, press it back. Press it back, you got it. Keep going, keep going, keep going everybody. Now, you have 15 more seconds, but you're gonna pulse this now, ready? Pulse and pulse, pulse and pulse. You can do it, all right, you can do it. All right, everybody breathe out, feel that breath exhaling and you're also giving your lungs that chance to get stronger. We all need to keep our lungs strong. Three, two, one, time. Legs wide, face me. Now you're gonna give me that nice high row and then we're done. All right, ready? Bend your legs slightly, soften the knees, chest high, shoulders down, and let's go. One, 30 seconds here, but this is the pace. I don't want the pace to go any faster. This is where we control the movements, we sculpt the arms, we sculpt the shoulders. Excellent job. Excellent job. Oh, 15 more seconds. Yep. Keep going, keep going. 10 more seconds. You got it, eight more seconds. Five more seconds. Four, two, and one. Great job. All right, so the band is down. Now I'm gonna tell you guys all, take a deep breath in. You're gonna bend your knees as you breathe in. Ready, bend your knees. 
Exhale up and out. Shake off your arms, shake your legs. Oh, you guys, you're terrific. So wonderful job. Um, Susan, thank you for sharing with me where you're from. Gloria, we're gonna send you a link to the app squat. Now, let me show you. This is for uh, Rosemary. Since you have your machine, let me show you where you are going to put your seat in. So right here is the seat. You slide it right in here and then you have your knob. You're gonna make sure there's no holes here and you're gonna have it at the lowest point. Since you're 5'3", okay? And that's it. I'm 5'7", and look, I only have one hole, and there's all these right here, guys. I could probably lift mine up if I wanted to. So judge it based on how it should feel. Um, it should probably be a little bit higher for me. The seat should probably be right at my hip. That's always the way I judge it for a bicycle. So think about it that way, a bicycle. Your seat should always be at the hip, right there, okay? So I can't wait for you to join us next week, uh, Rosemary. And guys, we do have the CoreMax Pro class tomorrow, Wednesday at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and then, Gloria, we will send your information on the App Squat, um, and we'll hopefully get you one so you can join us. But here, we're, we're, we're not going anywhere. You should be joining these classes. All right, they're here and designed for us to have that group fitness feel and get to know each other and enjoy just this time apart, just time away from life. It's our little escape. All right, guys, bye-bye. Have a great one. We're gonna go walk the dog now. Sunny and Paige, say goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye. Bye. So they they start every every single week. We have them at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on uh, today's Tuesday. So App Squat is Tuesday and Cormax Pro is Wednesdays. Every week we're here. My daughter tries to join me every week if she can. She just had school. So we're really like happy that she's with me. And um, you know, now we're gonna go walk our dog. And I love it, I love it. And by the way, it's a great way to get them to exercise, great way. All right guys, have a great night, thank you.